If you're in business, you're in sales. Hi, I'm Jamie Gorman, and I'm the host of Be Better at Business TV. And I'm joined today by speaker, author, but most importantly, sales expert, Mike Schmidtman of For Profit. And we're here to talk about and discuss how we can make your business be better at sales. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Jamie. Okay, well, you know, so I've kind of grown my business. I'm here, I've got my technicians. When do I know as a business owner that it's time to hire a dedicated salesperson? Right. Well, that's a great question. And Again, every, I'm full of great questions. <laughs> they're all great questions. <laughs> um, and I think every business is going to be different as well, but I would treat a hiring decision as an investment decision. Okay. What do you put in? What do you get out? And so I would say hiring people in many ways is like a diet. So people ask me all the time, should I hire young people and train them? Should I hire senior people that are already experienced? Should I hire people from a different industry who have different views? Should I hire somebody who's already trained and knows how to do it and bring them in? The answer is yes, 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 or maybe, 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 maybe. Right. They're like diets. Every diet works if you apply it, but every diet's <laughs> okay. different. So you have the Atkins diet, which is uh, low fat. Uh, no, Atkins is high fat, low carbs. Okay. You have Pritikin, right, which right, is right. Um, low fat, high carb. They're exactly the opposite. Okay. They're, they're exactly the opposite diet, but both will work if you implement them. So to answer the question, who you hire and how you hire them, can you hire young? Yes, that's the Pritikin diet. Should you hire a senior? Yes, that's the Atkins diet. Should you hire people from another industry? Yes, that's the uh, st Stillman or what have you, or uh, Hollywood diet or uh, Weight Watchers. There, yeah. There's hundreds of diets, there's hundreds of ways to hire people, but if you treat it as an investment decision, which okay. says, I'm gonna spend $10,000 and I expect to get back 20. That's a good investment decision. If right. I'm gonna spend 50 and get back 80. So what you spend, if you spend $40,000 on a junior salesperson, you could be overspending. If you spend $100,000 on a senior salesperson, you could be underspending. It all depends. It's a business decision. What are you going to invest? What right. are you hoping to get back? And there are many flavors, many ways to do it. There's no right or wrong answer. There's all sorts of ways to do it. Every way works if you apply it. Well, and that's great because you apply it to investment because one part of investment is risk as well. Right. Right? And so you try to mitigate exactly. your risks in your investments. And I think one of the ways you do that is through your hiring process. Right. Right? Who do you hire, junior, senior, from right. different industries? What are some tips? You know, okay, I've made that decision. I want to hire. This is kind of my investment. I see this being big. You know, what are some tips, initial tips on how to hire, what, either what to look for, or just even setting up that process of hiring? Right. Well, that's probably the single biggest skill that, that small business owners do not have that need to have it. Right. And the reason is, every time you make a mistake and hire, you're going to be spending two or three times that person's salary. And if they don't work out, you've just wasted tens of thousands of dollars, in some right. cases hundreds of thousands. You've, you've, and so in a, as an investment, you've invested $100,000 and lost it. Yep. Or let's say you've hired cheap and you get a minimum wage person. If that's a bad hire, you still wasted that money. And so it does make sense as an investment to, to spend the time and energy and to screen people so it's a, a, a longer answer than we have time to cover. Absolutely. At the same time, I would say people often don't put the time, energy, and resources into recruiting that they could. They hire whoever shows up because they don't know any better, and they end up wasting tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, and I know. I one of my earliest uh, clients, or you know, as I was working with, I was actually probably still working for another company and doing some consulting on the side, and talked to a guy, and he asked him about his sales team, and he talked about, well, this guy was a technician, and you know, but can't really do that anymore, so we've made him sales, and this guy's kind of doing this, you know, he really wants to be a musician, but wants to, you know, but we think he can sell, and the transition from that to when he started hiring. Mm -hmm. Real salespeople was huge because he realized that investment of hey, if I put in for for professional salespeople, they're going to be focused right. on selling, and, and his business just took so off. You're saying aspect. hope was not a strategy. Hope was not a strategy. Great <laughs> book. I, if you've read that book, um, yeah, hope was not a strategy. Um, yes, we have a question from the audience. Where can you find a great salesperson? 
Yeah, where can you find a great salesperson? And we have 30 seconds for that answer. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. At the quarter of we can go a little. Third, see, that's a good thing about being streaming live. I can <laughs> fidget in a minute or so. And to tell you the truth, I, I do want to have you back just to focus on that sales management aspect of things and how you set up a sales team. But, but just some real I'll, quick I'll ideas. Answer that, I'll answer that quickly. First of all, they are out there. And, and Bill Gates said one time, a great programmer is worth 10,000 good ones. Not 10, not five, 10,000. One great programmer is worth 10,000 good ones. And in sales, a great salesperson is worth, if not 10,000, at least dozens and dozens of good ones. Right. And so if you're looking for salespeople, keep kissing those frogs to find the prince, but I would hold out for the great one. Okay. Uh, you want the great salesperson, they make you an insane amount of money Bad salespeople cost you time, money, and bad customer relations. Right, and I think just in finding, you know, certainly through that networking and asking, mm -hmm. letting people know, uh, probably using recruiting services is another way that people can go. Especially it's like diets, there's one. all different ways. That's right. There's a lot of work. different ways, but <laughs> um, but I think the other thing you're saying is don't settle. Right. Right. It's better to kind of wait and wait for that great one to come in than to just hope is keep not a strategy. It. Hope is not a strategy. Right. <laughs> Well, Mike, we thank you for being here today. And was there anything you want to share? What What's going on with Mike Schmidtman and, and For Profit? Well, well, thank you, Jamie. A, a couple things. We, our company works with companies that get stuck. And so you can tell, having been a small business owner myself for years uh, and having squandered a lot of money uh, in bad decisions over those times, so we learned some tough lessons. But it's I have a lot of empathy for people who have their own business and want to grow. It's tough. But what they're doing right now is the right thing. They're working on their business. Right. As Michael Gerber says in the E-Myth, most people work in their business. They're busy, busy, busy. As they say, they're mopping the floor. They don't bother fixing the roof. If you spend time on your business, on your priority, and improve it, that business will grow. And that's fun, it's rewarding and profitable. So the people on this video are more likely to be growing their business because they're working on their business, Great. working with you on how to improve it. Great. Thanks, Mike. I'm Jamie Gorman. I'm the host of Be Better at Business TV. I'm also the CEO of Sigma Business Management. We do business planning, meeting facilitation, and business education. Uh, thank you for joining us. If, you, if this content was uh, helpful to you, please feel free to share it and share it with your colleagues and your co clients and uh, come back with us uh, each Friday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time.